So, I have uh, created this website and I want to show you some of the elements that I've put in here. We've got um, a div up here which has got the uh, Mr. Hall's beautiful website. We've got a div here which I've called nav. I've got a div here which I've called content. Uh, and this one here is a footer. And it's all bounded inside a, um, a main um, div. So, let's have a look um, at this website this page over here. So, so you, you can, can see here that we've, we've got, got the code, code and if you wanted to pause the code you could have a look. We've got uh, these, these are the elements over here um, which are uh, these elements here. Uh, those, those are those elements. elements. Then you've got uh, the content and so you've got your, your main lorem text in here. Um, and then down here you've got your copyright notice and Mr. Hall's beautiful web page. And each of them are in different um, divs. So we've got a header div, we've got a main div, a div bounding and all, but mainly header, nav, content and footer. That's what we're dealing with today. Let's have a look at the CSL style sheet. So we've got our main, which doesn't actually have anything in it, as you can see, and we might do something with that in a few minutes, but for the moment it's not the main thing that we're focusing on. In our header, we can see we've got a line text, we've got particular colours, we've got particular fonts, um, and um, the styles of the fonts. In the nav, we've got a border um, and a background colour with the colour of the text, and in the content we've got a border, a background colour, and a colour. And down here under footer we've got text align and, and colour. And we collected all of those over here in this area here. So the what we want to do now is we actually want to go to this. We want to take this div and place it far over here in the left. And take this div and place it far over here in the right. Um, so the way we do that is under our... Um, under our CSS style sheet, if we click on, say, for example, nav, um, what we can do is we do need to do a few things before we set this up. One of the things we need to do is we need, need to set up our widths. And in this case, we're just going to set our width to be 333 pixels. So that uh, immediately changes it. So if you were to have a look at what it looks like right now, you'll see immediately that this nav has become smaller. Okay, so this one, the content, we're going to change now, and this content will be 800 pixels wide. So let's go to content down here and go over to um, width and click on there and go 800, double click in there, 800 px. Press enter. And so what you'll see now is that the two divs have become once this one's smaller and this one's smaller. And we will be able to then pull this one up over here and it will fit over in this side. But first we need to float this element and this element. I want you to take particular notice of as I float it, what happens to the copyright notice down here. It's in a different div. So let's have a look. So we're going to float elements. So let's look for float under this layout section. If we go down here, you can see the float. And what I want to do is I want to click on the nav and go float left. And what this does is it immediately floats this one to the left. What it does is this one, this main one of the lorem ipsum, this just goes straight up. But, but this one floats to the left. left. It doesn't look like it's floating to the left, but effectively the lorem ipsum text is now ignoring this and then just goes straight up. So let's have a look at the um, content and let's float that to the right. So that's floated it to the right. And what you're going to see now on the bottom scene is we've got this left one and this right one, but you'll notice how the copyright notice has floated up above. 
In actual, actual fact, fact, it hasn't floated up above. above. What, what it's done is it's, it's, it's ignoring these two and it's recognising that there is a div here and recognising that it is the next div in the line. And these two are floating elements they have nothing to do with this main part of the page at the moment. So we need to fix that. So let's have a look. So, so what, what we, we want to do is we want to go down to the footer. footer. Now this, this is where the copyright notice is. is. And, and what I go over, I go over to here and I look for clear both. So, so what this is going to do is it's going to clear the left float and clear the right float. And, and as, as I, I do that, that, I click on that. As, as I do that, that, you'll see my text actually goes below this. This, this obviously is not looking great at the moment. But you'll notice my text is below for the copyright notice and these two are floating uh, quite happily now and it's cleared them both. Well, that's clearly not what I want yet. Um, what I want to do is I want to make this look good and this text is way too close to the borders. And so we're going to just adjust that. So let's have a look. Let's go back to here. And we're going to go to our content section. So we click on our content section. And, and you'll see over here that, that we've got, got padding. And I'm, I'm going to pad it 20% here, 20% here, 20% or 20 pixels in each part rather than 20%. So I go 20 PX, press enter. And at the moment it's not linked. So if I was to link it and put 20 PX, each of these becomes 20. And when we look at our, um, our text, you'll notice how that the text now has space around it. And on top of that, you might have noticed that this is actually closer to this one because it's actually expanded out to the left and um, expanded out to the right. Um, this one is fitting in this space, it's recognised that the screen is this big, so it's actually moved the whole thing across to the left. So I'm going to now uh, do the same with the nav here. Um, so if I go to the nav section, and I go to my padding for the nav, I'm going to do 20 for the padding for the nav. And I'll just link that together, click there, press 20px, press enter, You'll notice how it's 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. 20. The stuff fills in here. And so when we go to our actual website, you'll see how it's padded that 20% extra. This has come a little bit closer. So the next thing I want to do is I want to just adjust a few things. So I want to adjust the border in the nav. So if I was to go back here, to our nav, click inside the nav, and look for border, you'll see over here we've got position, padding, margin, and we can look, oh look at this, border. Now this is our border radius, and what I would like to do is I'd like to link that up and make that 22, so I'm just going to go to 22, and I know that this looks good, I just do. So let's have a look at this and we want to probably put a double yet yeah, we've put a double star in there and let's have a look at it now so you'll notice how our nav has a rounded edge it looks so much better doesn't it so that's our nav issues that's our content issues and that's our border issues the one thing i want to do um, now is i want to just adjust the welcome, welcome to Mr. Hall's beautiful, beautiful website and the copyright issue so that we've got a bit of space in between. And so if I go back to the header, let's go up to the header, I can put padding at 25. So let's go back up to our padding and just link that in and just click in here and put 25 PX. And this does a beautiful job of lowering the actual text nicely. So if we see the text here for Mr. Hall's beautiful website, you'll see how now the space around it. So it's looking really good. I would want to put some space around the footer, and so I'm going to use a padding of 30. So let's have a look at that. Let's go over to our padding for 
our footer, so click on there, go to our padding, and we're just gonna put a 30px in there, and that's just gonna put a little bit more pad into the thing, so if we see here, we've got it going a little bit lower. The one last thing that I really wanna do is I really want to set my minimum height on this. And I'm gonna set my minimum height to be uh, 270. So let's have a look at that. So we go back to our nav and let's have a look at what we've got. We've got minimum height here. And if I click on there, I can put 270px, press enter. And what this does is it brings the whole um, element here down in line with this element on my page. And this is looking a lot better. So this is how to adjust your um, your navigation, your content, your footer, etc. Using padding, using margins, using um, minimum heights, using a few things like that, and it just looks so much better.